Missouri. The 36 of Austin Schaefer from Hamer, South Carolina. 37 will be Logan Mortberg out of Deltona, Florida. As the gate is down on this one. Riders heading toward that uh, Bell Helmets Hole Shot Award. Whoa, who's it going to be? Who's going to get credit for that? There's like three riders. And it's Canyon Richards going to get the uh, er, the hole shot uh, yep. credit there aboard the number 16. Dan and Reed in second and Luke Fowser. But that's going to change up pretty quick as Fowser moves out to the front of the pack. Let's uh, keep an eye on this one, Megan. What will we introduce you to the rest of the field here? As we got the 41 of Braxton Watson out of Oklahoma City. The 42 of Crew Ketton from Riverton, Utah. The 43, Brandon Comerford from uh, Fort Pierce, Florida. Danny Reed out of Saratoga Springs, Utah. 45, Kobe Golf from Browns Valley, California. 46, Nick Frazier from Vernon, Connecticut. 48, of Colt Golombuski from Landa Lakes, Florida. 49, Austin Parker from uh, Visalia, California. Emil Latcher, the 55 from Brooksville, Florida. The 59 of Kalina Humphrey from Huntington Beach, California. The 61 will be William Sokol from Commodore, Pennsylvania. 62, Clark Robbins from Chamon, New Jersey. 65, Jackson Tomsu from Hale Center, Texas. 66, Cole Timbo from uh, Com Calamessa, California. 70, Blake Presdies out of Cambridge, Ohio. 71, Jace Coy from Grand Terrace, California. The 72 of Jamison Mushler from Wimbledon, North uh, Dakota. The number 77, Cannon Hargrove from Monterey, Texas, uh, or Mon Montgomery, Texas. The 81 of Nathaniel Orr from Newcastle, Oklahoma. The 83 of Keegan Laupsky out of Martin, Michigan. The 87, Nicholas Stefanik out of Bartlett, Illinois. 91, Oliver Camp from Chesterfield, Missouri. 94, Cohen Jackman from Saratoga Springs, Utah. And the 96 of William McCure from from Fayetteville, Georgia. That's your field of 42 riders. Final race of moto number one. It's race 29 on the track. These 65, 10 to 11 year old riders. Well, Rodney, they credited Canyon Richards with that hole shot. Dan and Reed was right beside him, but by turn two, it was the number four of Luke Fowser out into the lead, man. Flying Fowser. Here he comes to the end of lap number one. And this kid's already got a gap, dude. Looking good. We've seen Luke win down here before. Uh, came up just a little short yesterday had a fantastic ride came up just a little short but put himself in fantastic position for a couple championships here Fowler with a 2.498 second lead over Alan Alvin Hillman the 22 machine riding on a TM out there in second place position Yamaha mounted uh, Canyon Richards number 16 in third Austin Schaefer the 36 on a KTM and fourth and fifth it's KTM 96 of William McCure Se sixth place also a KTM ride the 87 Nick uh, Stafanik uh, Cobra mounted Nathan Hummel, the 28 in seventh. Chase Lawton on a KTM in eighth. A Husqvarna rider, number 59. Kalina Humphrey is ninth on the 59 and 20 of Tyler Mollett. A KTM rider rounds out the top 10. So uh, there you go. That's uh, the way things are looking at the end of lap number one through our top 10. And here's the way things are looking on lap number two. Fowler putting real estate and a lot of it between himself and that second place position. Yeah, Fouts are impressing me right now. I'm picking some really smart lines and uh, some lines I'm sure didn't exist just a little bit ago uh, before that bit of uh, prep that we gave the track. And holy cow, keeping the mo momentum up, staying out of those ruts, finding the smooth spots near the edges. And uh, Hillen doing a great job behind him trying to pick up on a few of those lines. Here we are on lap number two and uh, already starting to put a little gap on the field. Just needs to ride smart, needs to ride uh, cool, calm, and collected. And here he comes right now over the rear fender with the gas on. Rolling around uh, into the uh, final moments of this uh, second lap of racing as uh, fouls are still trying to keep uh, things rolling. We're watching Hillen, also Richards and Schaefer McCure to see how things are going to shape up between those riders. Fast riders in the back of the pack. Don't see anybody coming just yet, but this is one of those classes where uh, some of the top seeds could very likely have gotten a bad start and may take them a while before we see them racing us in the top 15. Back in the number two spot is still Alvin Hillen as we see Luke Fowler now crossing that finish line for lap number two now complete. Hill unable to cut in just ever so slightly into that lead. It was a uh, 2.54, I believe. Now it's a 2.3 uh, gap. And Canyon Richards in that third place right now, sitting right behind those guys on that 16 machine. Austin Schaefer trying to hang in there as well. He's turning a 2.15, and he's about three seconds back behind Richards. So uh, starting to lose touch just a little bit with those top three. But behind them in the uh, fifth position, William Morcor. Nicholas Stefanczyk in the uh, number six spot, Chance Ch Chase Lawton in the seventh position. Kalana Humphrey rides in eighth. 
Braxton Watson in that number nine spot. Nathan Hummel rounding out the top 10 with Nyler Mullet in the uh, 11th spot. Jeremy Rowe in the 12th position. Jamison uh, Mushier in the uh, 13th position. Colt Golombeski in the 14th position. And Crew Ketten rounding out the top 15 in our 65, 10 to 11. Right now, already starting to find his way into some back markers right now. Luke Fowser, a couple of these guys have gone down. And uh, Fowser relentless on that throttle right now. Really starting to pick up some time now over that number two ride. Well, 2.3 seconds was what we saw at the end of lap number two a few moments ago. Uh, as you mentioned, Alvin Hillen actually able to just chip a, a, a smidge away at that lead by about one-tenth of a second over the number four of Fowler. We'll see what things are looking like as uh, we roll here toward the finish line and the completion of lap number three. Here we come off of the Rocky Mountain ATVM sweeper turn, and you can see that looks to be a little larger gap than the 2.3 seconds. But look at the battle that's shaping up. That? We got some different riders back there in that second and third place positions. So we got some changes. We'll see if we can't get that sorted out for you. Also some lap markers as you were talking about there in the mix of that too. So uh, we'll get those all sorted out hopefully here in just a second as your leaders rounding the sweep return now in front of the Poly Sport Pond. And second place position also making their way in there. I believe that's Canyon Richards that made his way by uh, Hill, and I don't know if it had anything to do with that lap rider, but as you saw, they were uh, in an intense battle coming out of the beach, and I'm, I'm believing that uh, Canyon Richards did get by on the number 16 machine. Wow, McCure is the one we need to be watching right yeah. now. That kid's racing very, very uh, aggressively right now up to, to the number three spot, just as uh, Canyon Richards also got the hammer down. Fowles are turning to 214, a 215 by Richards, but it looks at the, the, look at this, a 213 by William McCure. And what happened to Alvin Hillen? Alvin Hillen drops from a 212 lap time all the way down to sixth place, second to sixth place with a 231 lap time. So that TM right having some sort of a, a mistake out there. And uh, there's one of the only TMs I've seen so far here in yep. 2019 at Loretta Lens. Good to see uh, you're still out there and in full force and making some waves. All it takes is a small mistake to run, especially on these bikes. Get out in the deep stuff. Get out of the main racing line. Uh, tag somebody's rear tire. You know, that type of thing. Bump in a corner. Uh, so many things can result in that. And that's exactly how it happens. That's a perfect example of not uh, being a small mistake. That small mistake seemed small, but it resulted in a uh, loss of four positions. All right. I'm looking for the second place position. Uh, should be going through uh, story land about right now. So uh, we're looking at a seven second da gap between first and second place. And there they come out of story land now heading by the old waterworks station. We got that battle between Canyon Richards and William McCure. McCure was two seconds faster, but uh, Canyon Richards got to think that maybe he's got an extra two seconds to uh, gain on this lap. So we should be seeing this battle really intensify as they come into this. And there they are. <laughs> wow. There's the 16 Richards and there's the 96 of cure right behind him still uh, about a second or so to separate the two as they work their way into these uh closing turns and McCure is really closing up some ground as we near the completion of lap number four. Yeah, we've seen McCure already and uh, well, I've seen him already on the track this week and he's intense, no doubt about it. Look at this, going to try to go the long way around and make it happen. Canyon Richards needs to get over there and protect that line, not oh, able to do something. I think he may have done it. And he did. He gets it. He does stick that line. And look at this, gaining a couple of bike lengths as they go past the finish line. William McCure in the number two spot now. A 2:13 lap time again. There's an eight-second gap now up to the number four. Luke Fowler, your leader, and a 2:13 may not get it done with the time left here. We're about halfway into this moto, nine minutes to be exact. So uh, this is going to be interesting. Can McCure find a little bit more speed out there? I have to think. He probably can with the way he's riding right now. Yeah, he can find a little speed for sure. Uh, is he going to find eight and a half seconds to get his way clear to That's the front? That's tough. That's going to be tough. Uh, I gave up on Richards just a second ago, but he is trying to mount a charge now. But I got to say, a little disappointed. Uh, Richards let him by without really making a run at him. Uh, made it awful easy, kind of pulled over. Well, uh, it's, it's a little tough out there sometimes. You, again, I... Uh, 65 cc's maybe a little younger uh, maybe not right. as much experience in the 65 yep. cc classes like that so uh, maybe also want to see the lines that mccure is running because uh, oftentimes that can help you out in your uh, in your endeavors as well 
And let me tell you, Canyon Richards, uh, no newbie by no means. That guy's been around. He's seen it all. And like you said, without confrontation, well, let him go. Let him wear himself down a little bit. Let him make a mistake, he said, because we can always make a run at him later. Exactly. Halfway point of this moto now, 10 minutes in of 20 minutes, and Fowler continues to lead. Should be checking in here in a, less than a minute, 30 seconds or so. And a little further back in the pack, Cole, uh, Colt Gollum Boot Besky, uh, back there in the ninth place position, Jeremy Rowe in the 10th place position. But I'll tell you what, uh, Hummel and uh, Gollum Besky got some good runs going. Chase Lawton could be under some pressure right now. Something going on with the 15 as we see his lap time drop to a 226. So, again, going back to that uh, little miscues, little mistakes, maybe a foot peg dragging the uh, inside of one of those deep ruts out there. Who knows? Yeah, I'm taking a look back at the 15 ride of Blake Presti. Bl uh, Blake turning a 218 right now, and that's a good bit faster than the next four or five riders ahead of him. Uh, nine minutes left in this one, so a little bit of time when these guys are having these kind of lap times. There's four laps left in this thing, so. Uh, I'll tell you right now, Blake Presti, uh, with the lap time that he has going on right now, we could see him in top ten very quickly. Uh, all the way up, maybe even as far as a seventh place position in a couple laps. If he can keep this pace and things stay the way that they are right now. I would have to agree with that. When I take a look at the numbers, when I take a look at the gaps and the lap times, that's very, very possible if he keeps that pace and continues that pace up. I tell you, the fence is just lined down through here, Rodney. Hats waving, arms waving. I mean, these folks are fired up, and I love it. Got the shirts waving down there. This is good stuff, man. When it comes to these uh, little racers, when it comes to these younger guys, it uh, just uh, fires me up as well. And take a look at that number four machine, Luke Fowler, last time around, seven-second lead, almost eight-second lead. Where are we going to stand this time? Should be seeing him. He's about halfway around the track on lap number five. McKeer turning a 2.13.2 to Fowler's uh, 2.13.6, so uh, just under eight seconds. The gap between first and second, about eight minutes of this moto left to go to see whether or not McKeer can mount the challenge and close that gap. Uh, it might be one of those situations like Edward Walston was in there. Yeah. Just, uh, well, how'd it go again? Just, just let her eat and send her. Let her eat and send her. That's it. No, dude. just let her eat and send her. Dude. <laughs> okay, dude. So. <laughs> Nothing to do but let her eat and send her, dude. <laughs> Quote of the week right there. I got to tell you, it's good advice if it works for yeah. you. And uh, we'll see if William McCork can put that advice to use here. He's got a great run going on. But uh, like I said, interested to see exactly what's going to happen here. Austin Parker, mm. uh, Logan Mortberg, Blake Presley, uh, Nicholas Stefanczyk, uh, some of these guys back here really kind of getting bogged up together, getting yeah. in a cluster, you know what Blake I mean? Blake Presti in 15th yeah. place a lap ago, and with the yeah. lap time he was turning, we were anticipating a few passes in that uh, lap and, and maybe all the way up into a top 10 uh, by uh, laps through the end of lap number six. But right. He turned to 220 that last time around. Uh, again, you know, these riders that get off to a bad start, they start pushing, 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 and at that halfway point, uh, it, re it really starts taking its toll on these youngsters. Sure it does, and uh, judgment starts uh, becoming a little different. You know, you start getting a little winded, you start getting a little stressed, uh, anxiety starts rising a little bit. But I'm seeing just this clump of riders right here, and as you see on the track, that's exactly how they look right there. And uh, holy cow got caught up in a group of people well let's see what this group is looking like as Fowler we know is uh, motoring his way around this racetrack through the bell helmets whole shot for us 215 for McCure that time the gap now down to 5.3 seconds we're that's 2.4 an... seconds we're, we're going to keep an eye on that 2.4 seconds with five seconds uh, uh, yeah I'd say within uh, two laps or so we might see McCure on his rear wheel if they stay this pace and I'll tell you, that'll be a race because Fowler's a gamer, dude. Fowler's a gamer. He can take the pressure or he can apply the pressure. And Kevin Kelly, I believe Kevin was mentioning uh, Fowler out at Mammoth, you know, showed up. And a lot of times locals are the guys that really dominate. Well, always locals dominate Mammoth, no doubt about that. But a lot of times great riders from different regions look like real beginner riders at Mammoth. And he said Fowler just come out and attacked it like he was at Pleasure Valley or one of his home tracks. Well, pretty amazing. 
uh, to see the, the talent level of these kids. And Fowler, you know, he, he, uh, there's some kids that are just truly gifted, and you almost have to think that, that Luke may be one of those riders that may be well gifted in the, the art of riding a motorcycle. A absolutely he is. And you know me, I'm very critical. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty open-minded, but I'm also very opinionated. And I got to tell you, I like their approach to just about everything they do. The family unit are amazing people, the Fowlers. I love the way they will go about their training. Uh, the uh, attitude they have here at the races is something that, uh, uh, that is exceptional. And then the fact that Luke, just 110% uh, at all times, without a lot of the pressure, without a lot of the uh, outside distractions. Well, I tell you, a KTM Orange Brigade seen something in him as well as uh, they're certainly supporting him out here this week. Also, Dave Kilgore Bakery and uh, Brap Supply uh, helping out Luke Fowler from Midland, Pennsylvania. William McCure, the number 96 out of Fayetteville, Georgia, brought to us by Lynx Racing, Chris Gibson Holmes, and the RM Army with that fly gear. They check in. Ooh, look at that. 3.7 seconds now. Uh, the gap closed only 1.6 seconds, but uh, we are starting to see uh, things tighten up between first and second. We, uh, I believe, we'll be seeing a two-lap board coming out here next time around. Uh, Canyon Richards in that number. Is, it's out now. Okay, so the two-lap two board is out now. And uh, Canyon Richards in that number three spot. Tyler Mollett up to fourth place position. We knew we were watching and seeing him get very uh, uh, close to that position. Uh, Austin Schaefer rounding out the top five. So Canyon Richards right now got the whole shot. He's currently running in a third place position as we roll into the uh, uh, closing moments of this uh, moto number one for 65, 10, and 11. And look at that. Yes, exactly. 3.7 seconds separating these two riders. Can William McCure close that gap anymore here on lap number eight to start to mount a challenge on Fowler? You know Fowler. You know he's a go-getter. You know whenever the time comes, he's got a little bit more juice to let loose. Yeah, it's funny. He's got a little left in the tank, no doubt about it. But what is interesting, uh, last time McCure was about a 2.14. It was about two and a half seconds. This time only about a half a second. And uh, you know that Fowler's got the word. But... The big interest, uh, the interesting thing is white flag lap right now. So you know, race management, Rodney, race management. Exactly, and McCure again uh, got our sights set on this young rider as he's 3.7 seconds back, and I'm not knowing, don't think he's out front now. Maybe. I'm looking for the number four. Right there comes Fowler. Okay, all right. Yeah, right there comes Fowler. So we're still in good shape. All right, in amongst some lap traffic now is Fowler. Wow, he he's flying too, dude. He's <laughs> flying. He got the message, I can tell you. Do you see that bike come through oh. those <laughs> bumps through I'll, there right now? I'll be surprised to, to, say, to think that this uh, lap time he's turning this time will be much over a 2.11 or anything. Oh, holy cow. Almost landed on that lap or wide open, cross lines in the middle of the track. Holy cow. One to go. Luke Fowler out front with a white flag. William McCure now slowing his pace down as he gets in that lap traffic to a 2.17, a 5.6 second gap. But again, we go on the fact that uh, once more that, uh, you know, this is the first of three motos and the heavier weight bears in the later motos. So, Ooh. you know, that second's as good as a one at this particular point. Yeah, again, like I said, it'd be nice to do a, a, a podium sweep of uh, first all the way through and get those three gold medals but a silver and a couple of golds hey that's some pretty good bragging rights also you better believe it maybe even a little better story because he had to come from behind just to get that second place position oh, believe me and you know that makes for better storytelling yeah most definitely oh, so when you chase him down you know the chase is always better when it's being retold that's it so uh hey maybe the silver might be uh more a conversational piece <laughs> than the two golds if he, if he's able to capture those in the second third motors but i can tell you Fowler's going to be tough to beat no matter what canyon richards in that number three spot rolling into this final lap had about a five second lead over tyler mollett uh mollett was about four seconds faster canyon richards cannot rest on his morals right now to hold on to that third place position so we'll keep an eye on that as our leader now making his way here into the uh closing uh, feet of the uh, oh look at this guy dude are you kidding me gathered it up kept the gas and let the thing wheelie with one foot off the peg <laughs> <laughs> and manipulating lap traffic at the same time 
<laughs> you got a couple. You're getting a little nervous up here for fouls there, it looks like. Oh, uh, this guy giving me a heart attack right now. Spun that thing across the jump face right there. Takes a look over his shoulder. Didn't look backwards, but took a look across the track, which is what a true pro does. And uh, setting her up one more time through this beach turn. So heading into the uh, final turn now, Luke Fowser from Midland, Pennsylvania, going to take this one uh, to the checkers uh, as the KTM Orange Brigade, Mom and Dad, Dave Kilgore Bakery, and Brab Supply KTM Ride uh, taking a Moto One win in this 65, 10, and 11-year-old class, heading down to the podium to talk to Kevin Kelly here in just a moment. And uh, what a great way to uh, wrap up these first motos and another good ride by William McCure out there as uh, he'll finish up in the number two spot. And we wait with bated breath to see whether or not uh, Richards is going to be able to hang on to that third place position or whether Mullet found an extra gear out there and was able to uh, reel him in and steal the uh, podium thunder away. Nope, Canyon Richards will get it. So it's Fowler, McCure, and Richards. Richards also taking that uh, whole shot award. So uh, he'll be talking with uh, Kevin Kelly about a couple of different things. Uh, also, Austin Schaefer in fourth, Tyler Mullet in fifth, Jeremy Rose sixth, Dinkin Denno in seventh, Chase Lawton in eighth, ninth, the 48 of Colt Golombeski, and Crew Kit Ketten, the 42 machine to round out your top 10. Again, unofficially, our Rocky Mountain ATVMC top 10 unofficial results here at this uh, Rocky Mountain ATVMC Amateur National Motocross Championship. So Fowler taking the win, and we head down to Kevin Kelly, who's going to be talking to our top three moto medal winners. Great time now, my folks. It's getting uh, my friends to, to head on over to see my good friends there at the uh, Italian ice display. Uh, of course, they've got the ice cream, hand-dipped ice cream there, and they've got that great-tasting Italian ice. Be sure and stop on up and see Steve and Tammy. They will do you upright with a uh, good, sweet treat here this afternoon. All right, Dad, get out of the way. We're going to let this little dude say hello to your winner, the gold medal, Luke Fowler. Dude. Luke, that was a very comfortable, comfortable win, man. Great, great work. You look good out there. Yeah, I pulled ninth chip, got it about third place start, and just try to get out there and pull away from the pack as much as I could. Man, I see you all over the place. I was in Mammoth a month ago, and boom, you show up up there. You're up down the East Coast. You, you're not afraid to travel, are you? Nope. Wherever there's a race, you want to go do it, right? Oh, yeah. I think that's a good plan. A lot of kids kind of just stay home and ride a few races here and there. You go and seek out competition. You want to race the best? Oh, yeah. Well, you're the best today, man. You finished, went out there, didn't get the whole shot, but you're able to get your bike on the top of the box. Any near misses? What? Any problems you had out there during that race? A perfect. My bike was a little bit choppy, but that's about it. Yeah? You got anybody you want to thank? Um, yeah, my mom, my dad, KTM Orange Brigade, Scott, 60, Cernix, Dunlop, um, PNG Motion Pro, um, Ethica, PR2, Lynx, um, Dave Kilgore, um, Answer, and the Hilo. There you go, folks. He is your moto winner here in the 65cc class. Congratulations, Luke Falzer. Adds to his collection. He's got three moto wins, I believe, in his young, young career. We're going to check in and say hello to our second place finisher. If I can bring up William Mercure. William Mercure, come on up, man, the silver medalist. William rides out of that Matt Walker Moto X compound. He's got a beehive of kids that tool around out there every day. What's it like riding out there, man? There's like 30 of you kids. Let's stand up right here in the center. You guys just beating each other up, racing each other all day? Uh, yes, sir. It's a, no wonder they call it the number one training facility in the nation and it's just a great place i love being down there i look forward to it every day and matt and timmy and justin all the guys at moto down at moto x they definitely helped me get to this place and this has been my dream but next time i want to snag the one luke rode really good so next time i'm just going to snag the number one and hope for the best dude i like this kid man good interview skills you're good on the bike good on the mic man two for two tell me about your race though man you, you finished second are you happy with that going into the second motos uh yes sir i drawed 42 out of the bucket so we had to go very outside gate i think i ended up about in the top five in the start make able to wait, make my way up 
to second and held through the whole race. You ready to fight this thing out with the rest of the gang here? Yes, sir. Who do you want to thank, William? Uh, I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, uh, friends and family for coming out here, my mom, my dad, Chris Gibson Holmes, Meadow X Compound, everyone there, Justin, Matt, Timmy, um, ODI, Roost, Mika Metals, uh, Bell Helmets, Fly Racing, and that's about it. How about it for your silver medalist? Let's hear it for William McCure. <laughs> William, good on the mic and the bike. Rare combination. What you got? You want something else? I also forgot to thank Lynx Racing for making such an awesome motor. There you go. Thanks to Lynx Racing helping out his program as well. We're going to bring up our whole shot award winner and third place finisher. Coming up here, Canyon Richards. Canyon Richards. Come on over here, man. Put that around here. Wrap that around your neck. Turn that frown upside down, man. You did good. You got third. You got a whole shot. $100 richer courtesy of Bell Helmets. All right, man. You got the whole shot. Where were you on that start? Where'd you get it from? So on the inside. You like it on the inside? Is that your favorite spot here? Yeah. You're going to do it again next time? Yeah. You're going to win next time? Um, that's what I'm trying for. That's what he's trying for. Who do you want to thank, Candy, for helping to get you up here? I'd like to thank Jesus Christ, my mom and dad, Clear Chiropractic, Psycho Trail, Rock River Yamaha, F uh, Specialized, Foley Cat, Athletes Arbor, SGB Parts, 6D, Sky, Atlas Brace, Murcross Vest, Moose Racing, the Wrist Brace Guy, <coughs> CTI Knee Braces, Traction Max, Rainbow Farms, Thrive Jockey, Lings, Recluse, Pro Circuit, Pro Taper, PR2 Suspension, Dunlop. Wow, you did that all from memory. No bike, no pit board. That's all up in your head, huh? Yeah. Very impressed. He is your third place finisher, whole shot award winner, Canyon Richards. Good job for Canyon. That'll do it from down here on the podium. We'll toss it back up to the ugliest announcers in the business. Take it away. Meg